welcome to the Coast to Coast podcast brought to you by Play Picks and the Lines. Coming to you from Denver, Colorado today, Josh Lander, joined as always by my guy on the East Coast, Nate Weitzer. And it's time for our favorite video of the day, Nate Player Props. We'll be looking at a bunch of different games and some guys that we think you can definitely take advantage of tonight, make some money off of their props. Um, Nate's got another great article up on playpicks.com for you, including some player props in there. And as always, if you do still need a FanDuel or DraftKings account, head to fdpicks.com or dkpicks.com and find those listings in your area such as what we've got for tonight's big monday night slate nate let's get into it yeah it starts with really the most confident player prop i think we've had in recent weeks which is demar Derozan to score especially in what projects to be a close game a half court game with the brooklyn nets um the bulls have absolutely no half court offense without Derozan, and that's why he's getting 30 points per game shooting 56 percent from the floor 45 from three and 90 percent from the free throw line over his last five, 30.8% usage rate in that span. Um, the Bulls are now first in their percentage of points off free throws. The Rose in a big part of that. They're third yep. in mid-range percentage points. Obviously, he's the king of the mid-range at this point. Yep. Um, and the Nets are allowing the second most field goal attempts per game this season. They've, they, they've had a pretty weak schedule recently. This five-game win streak includes... Two wins over the Pistons, one over the Pacers, and one over the struggling Hawks. So I think you're, you're daring opponents to kind of beat you from the mid-range, the way the Nets play, trying to close out on the three, trying to deny at the rim. But DeRozan will gladly oblige you. He has money in the bank on those mid-range shots. And his last three against Brooklyn, this is when he was with the Spurs, keep in mind, 22.3 points per game, 8.3 assists per game. Uh, the Spurs offense obviously much more spread the wealth so yeah. in this Bulls offense, I think he can easily get over what is 22 and a half points and minus odds at DraftKings, or he can get pretty much even money for 23 and 23 and a half at FanDuel. Uh, I would not necessarily bank it with a win uh, with those player performance doubles, because I think, yeah. we, as we mentioned in the separate video on this game, we like the Nets, but I would definitely bank on DeRozan getting at least 25 points. So you could even you know, get plus odds. And sometimes you're allowed to adjust those scoring props because frankly, it's just wrong. He should, he should, his prop should be about 25 and a half points right now. 100%. Yeah, I feel I, I would feel good about DD tonight. He's been the uh, the staple for those Bulls this season. And it's it's been a little bit of uh, your turn, my turn with this team, as we as you said, not quite the same spread offense as the, as the Spurs used to play, which would lend it to him to a few more assists. But he's not quite the playmaker that maybe we were hoping he would be when he even first came in the league a while ago. He's a scorer and he's a pure scorer. And, and uh, at this point, um, that's what he's going to do against a team that gives up a ton of points on the road in the Nets, as we mentioned in uh, just now and in our other video with the Nets and Bulls lines there. So uh, moving on to a West Coast game, those pesky Warriors best record in the league right now coming on the second leg of their back to back as well, where uh, Jordan Poole once again was the star of the show last night, uh, actually outscored Steph, uh, another incredible game from three. But uh, Steph against the Hawks is something that we can look to really take advantage of here uh, and have 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 the assumption uh, that it'll be Steph's turn tonight over the uh, the second year Jordan Poole. Play, uh, I think it's third year now, rather. Sorry. Either way, this is going to be Steph's night. I'm looking at him for rebounds, assists and points, combining all of those at 42 and a half is minus 110 on FanDuel. Um, you know, if you if he does get 30 points, his player prop is at about 29 and a half or also close to even money, about minus 110. Um, and it's really about what Steph does against the Hawks specifically. Um, you know, in his last seven versus them, he's got 50, 40, 90 splits. He's averaging about 30 a game, four boards, four assists. Um, and he's averaging just about 31 minutes in that time frame. So really good numbers there. And then you look at what the Hawks are doing right now. It's they're sputtering. Uh, you know, they're, they're in the midst of a, a one in four stretch in their last five. And they're giving up 117 points per game uh we've been harping on this since you know the beginning of the season the reason the hawks were so good in the second half of the season when nate came, nasty nate mcmillan came on was because of their defense it improved tremendously um and at home it was you know one of the top five defenses in the league at home um and on the and on the road a little bit worse but still good this year um you know right now as you said in this last five game stretch 117 points per game their 116 defensive rating on the road um which is much much worse than their 107 defensive rating at home um so this does not line up well for them and then you've got john collins now questionable as well who's been playing incredible in the in, in the um the back half of that defense when he is in there and has some versatility to be able to guard certain guys maybe give steph some trouble if he is going to be switching guys on a pick and roll at times 
Well, John Collins would probably be guarding uh, Draymond Green, and he's not there anymore. So feel really good about what Steph's going to be able to do tonight. Um, I do think he'll continue. You know, this season we've been really harping on his uh, his sort of hustle stats and his um, you know the the exterior stats, if you will, the assists as well, um, getting a couple of steals as well, which is nice. But it's those those assists and rebounds that make you feel really good about forty two and a half points, rebounds, and assists. I gotta feel great about him getting thirty tonight, to be honest, um, as I think he'll have to pick up some of the offense tonight as you know as they're coming on the second half of their back to back as well. Um, so I, you know if that's the case, then him scoring thirty feels really good, and then twelve points, re- or twelve rebounds and assists combined for that total PRA prop. Also feel really good about that. Yeah, the Hawks are in a funk right now, as you mentioned. Yeah, they're giving up 117 points per game and giving up 37% from deep over their last five. So I don't have any problem with Steph scoring. Um, sometimes when the Warriors do blow out the opposition, yeah, it leads to more of a, of a Jordan Poole game. But on this back-to-back against a more competitive opponent than we've seen recently, their last three home games against the Thunder, Hornets, Pelicans, Rockets, four in a row there where Steph did not necessarily blow up. But previous two home games, eight threes, seven threes against the Clippers and Grizz. There is a spicy uh, odds boost there for seven threes in a win. Uh, we're plus 430 at FanDuel. Ooh. Only Steph Curry, can you say? Yeah, seven threes is well within well within his range there. Uh, but yeah, I like the, the bulk stats for him. PRA more yeah. than points because he's really doing doing it all for the Warriors and yeah. they've been balanced this year. And, and, and that's translating to wins. Last year there was a game where he scored 57 and they lost, right? Now he's dropping 20 points and they're beating teams by double digits. So right. that's what they prefer. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of doing it all for your team, Bam Adebayo and the Heat visiting the Nuggets tonight. Uh, it's, you know, a bit, a bit of eyes on you, Bam, right? You're going up against the reigning MVP. Um and he started his career slow against Denver, but once Jokic got a little more press, he probably turned up a little bit in his last three versus Denver, 19.3 points, 7.3 rebounds, 4.7 assists, just good for just over 31 points, rebounds, assists, and just over his prop tonight of 30.5 PRA. Uh, I would go for the points in particular for, for just for tonight. Um, the way Denver forces you to score down low. I mean, they're, they're giving up the fewest points per game, but they're 22nd in paint points allowed. They're 18th in defending inside the arc. And uh, Bam, at just 17 and a half points, I mean, I, as I mentioned, he, he averages more than that against Jokic. Jokic is not somebody who can necessarily stop you down low. He just kind of, you know, puts his head down and gets back on offense. Uh, so plus 110 at DK, I think Bam can get that. And his rebounding numbers are also very intriguing because Denver does not crash. They have the second lowest uh, opponent defensive rebounding rate. Bam's putting up a career high 30% rebounding rate on defense, which is rather insane. Um, And he's been even more productive on the road in three road games, 21.7 points, 12.7 rebounds this season. So for him to get over eight and a half rebounds, Minus money at DK or over nine and a half is plus money at FanDuel. Either one works for me. Yeah, uh, I, I would really I like those rebounds a little bit better than I like his points, just because it's insane to me that Denver is giving 91 points per game off, uh, giving that up at home, which is obviously first in the league um, and, and a really insane stat there. Um, and that that 208 total, actually, I, I don't want to say it feels kind of high, but I'm, I'm a little bit scared of a total here. So, yeah, I, I think when you're looking at, at rebounds in this one, I think there's going to be some good uh, the ability for for definitely a lot of leak outs um, for the uh, for for the heat, which often starts with those rebounds that, that Bam is getting 30% of all the shots that go up that are missed on, on when Bam is on defense, he's getting the rebound. Like you said, that's insane as he's one of 10 players on a court. Uh, 30% is, is the bulk of that. So yeah, I, I feel really good about his rebounds tonight as well. And, and 17 and a half points is, is nothing, even though Denver's D it's about their pace as well. And I think Miami, you're going to see them continue to actually play a pretty high pace as what they played this year, which is something that we might not have seen in the past, but uh, they've got a ton of running gun guards and they're getting all the rebounds, like all of them on defense. So um, that, that leads to leak outs and, and, and some points that I think we could see a little bit more of tonight for, for the Heat. Uh, and the last one I'm taking, Huka Doncic. Luka Doncic over in Dallas taking on 
one of, if not the worst team in the league right now, and the Pellies, uh, definitely in the bottom three in terms of all important defensive stats for sure. Um, and, and it's really nice to be able to look at Luca's past against the Pelicans and go, oh, he averages about 29 points, about 10 boards and eight assists in 10 games in his career versus this team who's been much, much better on defense in the past um, and is very, very bad now. So, um, you know, wh- where they're giving up their points to is where Luca's going to want to continue scoring. Um, they allow 13 threes a game and the third highest three point percentage. Um, they allow teams to just run and gun and pass all over them. They give up the eighth most assists in the league as well. So I'm really feeling good about Luca's props tonight. If you like his points, rebounds, and assists, just at uh, 42 and a half for him. Um, no, no problems with that. 26 and a half points. I like three plus three pointers made on fa- uh, on uh, FanDuel there. That's uh, even money for you. And then lastly on FanDuel, you know we're still uh, hunting for that triple double player prop to get us some nice juicy odds. Why not tonight, Luca, to really take things to another level against a really really bad defensive team in New Orleans? As we said, triple double and a win for those Dallas Mavericks is plus six thirty on your money. Why not throw a little bit on that one uh, and see if we can predict when we're going to get that triple double from Luca tonight, um, which he's still searching for this season. So uh, I think it's get right night for Luca, and uh, that's a good prop for us. And that is all the time that we have for today, Nate. Make sure to like and subscribe to that video and page. Check out the other two videos we have up for you today on Monday night's big slate with the Bulls and the Brooklyn Nets, as well as the Sixers and the Knicks. And until we see you again, happy betting.